Hi all, today I am interfacing 3D LiDAR RoboSense to get point cloud data from the real world. Let's start. So first go to this link. I will share the link in description box and then open a terminal. We need to create a workspace. For that follow the steps. Make directory 3D LiDAR underscore WS and inside create a folder SRC and then cat can make the workspace. Once that is done, copy the link from the reference link and then JIT clone the particular JIT package. Next step is to build the workspace again. For that using CAD can make. Once it is done, follow these steps in the reference link. Copy the steps one by one. Our workspace is 3D LIDAR underscore WS. So Go to the particular drive and then do this step. And continue the rest of the steps. Once it is done, take another terminal and then go to uh, the workspace 3D LIDAR underscore WS and then cat can make. Do the connections properly. You will be having a RoboSense power supply and a LAN cable. Connect appropriately. Give the power supply and then connect the RoboSense to the laptop using a LAN cable. Next step is to set a static IP in the laptop. So uh, now laptop is wired connected to the RoboSense. Click on the button wired settings and then Click on the settings button in the network page under wired tab. Click on the settings button and then go to IPv4 tab and then click on the mothered manual. So that we will be able to set static IP manually. You can give an IP here that is mentioned in the reference document. So give the IP 192.168.1.1. One or two. And also give the network as 255.255.255.0 and gateway as 192.168.1.1. Once it is done, click on apply. So it's the time to get point cloud data from the real world. So take a terminal, go to your workspace 3D LIDAR underscore WS, source using the command source devil slash setup dot bash. So we need to launch RS LIDAR 16 launch file. So type rose launch space RS LIDAR underscore point cloud and then RS underscore LIDAR underscore 16 dot launch. So you will get the point cloud data from the real world. So RP LIDAR is the fixed frame given and also in Avis we have added point cloud 2 and we have subscribed to RP LIDAR underscore point. So now we can change different color transformations and we will be able to see the 3D obstacles around the RoboSense. So since the RP LiDAR frame is fixed, as you move your uh, RoboSense, the point cloud data will be changing. So this is a square shaped room and there are some obstacles inside and also uh, some obstacles are moving inside. So this can be uh, useful for many purposes if the RoboSense was placed on the top of a mobile robot. And we will be giving odometry as a frame, odom as a frame. So uh, this frame will be moving inside the 3D point cloud data. Now, uh, since uh, we are not placed it on a mobile robot, the fixed frame is RP LIDAR. So you can see the fixed frame is staying the same. And uh, as we move uh, the robo sims, that is moving with respect to the fixed frame. So hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.